Hi, I'm Megan Bushhausen, and you're watching Notes from the Dev Video Edition. Hello, and welcome back to this month's episodes of Notes from the Dev. I am Megan, your host, and if this is your first time watching, welcome. If you've been following along, welcome back. Uh, today, I have such an epic guest. This is like the best thing ever. Um, we have one of the OG email developers slash software developers or engineers in the industry, Mark Robbins. Uh, you may recognize his stuff from goodemailcode.com. That's the website that so many of us go to for the latest working code, especially for those dreaded outlooks. Uh, so today, Mark is going to talk to us about exactly that, how we can do some cool, like maybe some lesser known things that you may not know work in Outlook. Um, it's gonna be super awesome. So we are going to dive right into it. Hi, Mark. Thanks for coming. Hey, yeah, thanks for having me on. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna hand things over to you to start on. Um, I got a glimpse at some of this Outlook stuff. It looks really cool. So let's take a look. Cool, yeah. So. Outlook um, is uses Microsoft Word as a rendering engine, which for the most part is a real pain. But actually, there's some cool things that you can do in Word that you can't do in browsers so easily. So I want to look at some of that a little bit and just how we can use Outlook sort of more to our advantage and work with it rather than against it. So one of the things is um, MSO styles. So um, on my website here, goodemailcode.com, uh, go and check it out. Um, I've got a, a page dedicated to MSO style. So if you've been using email for a while, you might be familiar with some of these. You might see these pop up every now and again. These are basically styles that you'd get um, prefixed with MSO, which is Microsoft Office. So uh, there's a lot of styles have these that we can use. So if you want to change your font size, but just for MSO, just for Microsoft Office, then you can use this MSO ANSI font size. And that that will apply only to... Uh, MSO. So we've got these for quite a lot of things. You can do it for like padding, margin. You can even add and change the language with this, which is uh, quite cool. Um, so some quite quite useful things there. But if you, for those of us who are of a certain age, may remember uh, Microsoft Word and Word Art being the epitome of cool. Um, like if you're organizing a school disco or something, Word Art is the go-to thing to go. So we can use some like these cool word art things in email. So I've got a whole section here looking at word art and there's a lot of these styles are quite complicated and they look, they look a bit full on. So I'm going to show you, show you a little something um, that I built with it and then uh, show you an easy way of doing it. So I thought seeing as we're on notes for the dev, do, do a little notes for the dev um, logo, which is, which is cool. But um, so I've just written out here as a little H1 tag. And then I've added my styles in here. The text transform um, is going to apply to all email clients, but everything else I'm using is just for MSO. So other email clients are just going to ignore this. So I'm setting a font family used to Arial Black. I'm setting a, the font size to 4M. I'm setting the MSO color to um, that nice sort of greeny color. Line height, 3.5M. Line height rule, exactly. That's an MSO specific thing, the line height rule. Um, MSO font width, um, because the, the the font I was using didn't look quite right, I thought I just want to shrink it down a little bit so it makes the, the the letters a little bit narrower so it just looked more like what I'm trying to re recreate. Uh, then we've got um, a, a shadow on there, so we're putting a shadow color, uh, the alpha value of the shadow, so that's 100%. Um, MSO the shadow radius, so the blur on it, the distance, how far away it is from the text, the angle direction. Now, this is an interesting one. So angles, outlook sets at one sixty thousandth of a percent. So here the value is 2,700,000, which if you divide that by 60,000 is 45. So it's 45 degrees angle. But also the other thing to think of is instead of angles going from zero being top to bottom, like it is in CSS, in MSO, zero is left to right. So we've got to think about it slightly differently there. Um, and then I've got, yeah, also adding a text outline, solid text outline, uh, text outline color. 
and the text outline width as well. All of that means nothing um, but until you actually see what it does. So let's just send a quick test over to my Outlook account. Now, um, what I use for testing Outlook, I, I'm on a Mac, but I'm using a program called Parallels, which sets up a virtual machine so that I can run Windows directly from my Mac, and then I can install Outlook on here. So if I just do a little refresh, hopefully this is going to come through this email. Hopefully this email is going to come through. Maybe it's not. <laughs> Maybe we can edit around this bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There it is. Yeah. So here's the here's the email come through from um, got a parcel test, and there you go. That's what it looks like. So we have recreated the uh, the logo notes from the dev, which is which is pretty cool. So you can see there is like the the faint shadow there. We've got the color on it. The 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 font is all applied. Um, so if we just jump back here, um, then oh, actually I'm going to show you a quick way of how to do this, how to work around this, um, because this doesn't really mean a lot to most people. I wrote this out by hand because I've been <clears throat> geeking out on this and studying it and reading up and testing and testing constantly. It's not really effective for most people to do it like this. So a really quick, simple way of doing this, uh, open up Microsoft Word write a little bit of text like I have here. I'm just going to highlight that. And let's go into the text styling. And let's go for that one, a nice little text there. Also, I'm just going to go into the text format here and add a bit more. Let's do a reflection on it as well, because I quite like a little reflection effect. So there we go. So now this is how So you can use Word to style the text how you want it. Um, then if we save this, and you save it as, uh, so if we go, File, save as, and then here we're selecting to save it as a HTML file. Mm -hmm. uh, save, I've already saved it, so that's okay. And then we can open that file up in a browser and just do a little refresh there. We can see it's come through the yellow text. Um, then if we view the page source, you scroll all the way down to where the text is, and we can take this text. So actually, while I'm here, there is a lot going on in all of this text. And some of this might look familiar to some of you, like this Office document settings allow PNG. It's something people quite often put into an email template. There's a lot more stuff here, and there's a lot of potential here of things that I don't understand yet, and nobody's really written about yet. So there's a lot that we can look into and maybe learn from this, uh, sort of digging into some of this a bit more. Um, but for now, we're just interested in our word art styles. So here we can see we have our text. Uh, if I just copy these styles, which are going to be all the way up to here. Actually, let's just copy the whole P tag, shall we? That's going to be an easier thing to do. Um, I've got Outlook styles are fun. So if we copy that whole section, and then if we just jump back over here and we'll stick this p tag underneath down there and let's send another test and we'll see what that looks like so here we can see all this styling we've copied over now we don't need all of this we can do a lot of tidy up on this so i'm just pasting it in as is for now just to to demo it but we can then tidy it up and we can play around with some of these values to see if we can understand them some of them can probably be removed some of them like this mso style text outline type none so there's no text outline we don't need to specifically say there's no text outline we can just remove that and again we don't need to set width on that either because there's no text outline so we can do a lot of clean up here but then if we just jump back over to outlook to have a look at what this looks like then we see our text has come in through there as well. So it's a, a nice, quick, easy way of doing it. So you can just uh, open up Microsoft Word, style things how you want it, copy and paste, and, and away you go. And also this text as well, it's all selectable. It's all accessible. This is live text. This is not using like VML or anything nasty like that, which is going to cause a number of issues. This is live text, even with the, the reflection on there. 
So actually, this does get picked up by screen readers. This is you can copy and paste it. You can translate this text. It just works really well across across everything. So um, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you today. That's amazing. So do can you only do this on Word on um, Windows machine no. or virtual machine, or can you use Word on Mac? You can actually do this with Word on Mac, and Word oh and it God. uses the same code. <laughs> Yeah, Good. pretty cool. Awesome. So, and it's just save it as a web page, open yep. up that file, look at view the source, and then just pull out the styles you want from there. Um, and it and it works. And then I, I encourage everyone just to like play around with it and try out different styles, um, and see what you can do and like, experiment with it a bit more. Because Outlook just gets forgotten so much. Yeah. Um, you're just sort of you're just trying to make something passable, but actually mm -hmm. we can enhance it and do something kind of cool with it. Yeah, I feel like this opens up so many possibilities. Like, I'm really excited to think of something, I don't know what yet, to be able to go in and just make a really cool experience on Outlook so that no matter where someone's looking at the email, they're not just getting some, like, really boring, stripped-down version of some email. They can get their own experience. And another thing as well you can do, if we, if actually I'll just go back and show you, if we go into Word and we'll do a, insert a shape and start drawing this draw a little star there when we save that and export that that's a vml image so actually we can create vml images oh um, nice in that outlook as well and the same same thing if we um look and take the code here um it's going to be somewhere in here yeah we've got this v shape image here so this is our vml image and there's the path yeah, with the paths yeah so we can, nice. we can play around with things like that as well, which is a yeah, really nice feature to, to use too. That's awesome. Cool. Just like, I feel like the gears just start. Anytime I see something new, like the gears in my <laughs> brain start like moving. I'm like, what can I, what can I do with this? And this is what and, happens and, to me like every single time. And that's <laughs> it. Just, just open up Word and start playing around with things. There's, there's yeah. so, many, so many options, so many styling options, so many things you can do. In, in words that I haven't played around with yet. And mm -hmm. I don't, yeah, I, I don't know what's, <laughs> what you can do and what you can't do. I've, I've only like scratching the surface mm -hmm. of this. So I, I, I encourage everybody just to play around with this and, and test it and see what you can come up with. And then, um, but yeah, it, it's, it's potentially could, could, uh, yeah, great, create some great designs from it, I think. Yeah, definitely. Well, People who are watching, if you do this and try it out and send it out in an email, please send it to me because I want to see it. Yeah, me too, please. <laughs> yes. We'll make sure everyone else sees it because it will be awesome. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So with all of that, something I did not mention in my intro is that Mark works at our favorite email editor, Parcel Now. That's a relatively recent, like a couple of months now yeah, joined, joined in which is amazing yeah. also um so mark with all that said why don't you let us know where we can find you online and contact you and all that jazz yeah so um find me on um on, i'm on the twitters uh, m underscore j underscore robbins i'm an email geek slack all the time um just yeah mostly hang out in the code and accessibility channels um i'm dotted around I'll, I'll be at various uh conferences and bits throughout the year um and find me at parcel as well and 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 also um because yeah I, we're at parcel and uh we're big fans of what you're doing we, we love notes from the dev so we've got a little discount code for any people watching if they want to uh, get a free trial of a parcel pro account um, we've got a little discount code, which hopefully we can stick on the, we'll put that right the in screen the... somewhere. somewhere yeah, there. we'll get it in the show notes and everything. <laughs> yes, I hope people take advantage of that. Parcel is really amazing. I've been using it since the beta, and I love it. It's awesome. It's pretty much known now that I love it. Um, <laughs> so that's very generous of you're you gonna, guys. You're going to love the new features we've got coming soon as well. So we've excited. got a lot of exciting things coming out, which awesome. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about yet, but I'll just say it's exciting. And, and I <laughs> love it. Yes, it's amazing. All right. 
So that's essentially our episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, like, share, follow, subscribe, do all of the things. Um, and we will see you next time. Bye.